Multiplying and dividing radicals is today's lesson. Within the table, when multiplying and dividing, the radicands do not have to be the same, so the number underneath the radical, but the indexes do. That's your root. However, if you had the square root of 16 times the cube root of 8, when you can actually take the square root and cube root, then you can go ahead and multiply as you can rewrite it without the radical. Square root of 16 is 4 times the cube root of 2, 4 times 2 is 8. But if you want to rewrite something in simplest radical form, we can't do that multiplication if they didn't have the same index. So step number one. To multiply and divide radicals, you first want to check to make sure that your indexes are the same. Step number two, you want to multiply or divide the coefficients. That's the number out front of your radical symbol. And then you're going to multiply or divide the radicands and simplify when possible. Algebraically, so I have my coefficients x and y. First thing I would do is multiply them, so I get x, y. We keep the index of n and then multiply the radicand, so that would be a, b, which means a times b. For division, it means x divided by y. Again, keep the index and then divide a by b. The examples. For 1 through 12, we're going to multiply and express each in simplest form. On the back, starting with 10, we'll look at some division problems. So the direction should actually say multiply and divide and express each um, of your answers in simplest form. And number 1, there are no coefficients, or there are, but there are coefficients of 1. So 1 times 1 would just be 1. The radicands, 2 times 6 would be 12. To simplify 12, I look for the largest perfect square factor, non-perfect square factor. 12 is divisible by 4, so 4 times 3. Final answer would be 2 radical 3. And number 2, now realize this is the same thing as the square root of 80 over the square root of 5, or it can be written as the square root of 80 over 5. 80 divided by 5 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. Number 3. So we have the coefficients out front. 3 times 2 is 6. Keep the radical. 3 times 8 is 24, and x times x is x squared. x squared is a perfect square, so I'm going to put the answer out front, and the square root of x squared is x. I'm going to break down 24. Largest perfect square factor of 24 is 4. 4 times 6. Square root of 4 is 2. Times the 6x out front, we end up with 12x radical 6. Number 4. Dividing our coefficients, 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then 24 divided by 2 for my radicands is 12. Bring down the 5, simplify the 12. Largest perfect square factor, just like in example 1, to simplify 12 is 4 times 3. This time we have the 2, but we have that coefficient of 5 to multiply. So we get 10 radical 3. The bottom of the page, whenever you have a square, I would encourage you to write it out twice. So expand, then multiply. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 5 times 5 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So 5 times 4x squared is 20x squared. In number 6, 10 divided by 5, that would be radical 2. And then x to the third divided by x, when we divide algebraically, we subtract the exponents, 3 minus the 1 is 2. Now, x squared is a perfect square, so the square root of x squared is x, and I can't do anything with the radical 2. 
Number seven. Now we're looking at some cube roots. So multiplying our coefficients out front, two times four is eight. Cube root of two times four again is eight. Cube root of eight is two. Times the eight out front is 16. No coefficients, so multiplying the radicands. Nine times six is 54. X squared times X is X cubed. Breaking it down, perfect cube, non-perfect cube. Largest perfect square fat or perfect cube factor of 54 is 27. X cubed is a perfect cube, and it's 27 times 2. Cube root of 27X cubed is 3X, and then bring down the cube root of 2. Number 9. Multiplying our coefficients, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Radical 3 times 6, 18. XY times XY is X squared, Y squared. So once again, it is divisible by 2, which is my index. So I'm going to pull out the square root of X squared, Y squared, which is XY. And I'm just going to break down the 18. Largest perfect square factor of 18 is 9. It's 9 times 2. Square root of 9 is 3 times that negative 10xy is negative 30xy radical 2. 10. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 54 divided by 2 is 27. The x's can cancel. y3 minus the 1 is y squared. It is a perfect square, so square root would be 4y, and 27 breaks down into 9 times 3. Square root of 9 is 3 times that 4y is 12y radical 3, or square root of 3. To finish with 11 and 12, back to our cubes. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Cube root of 128 divided by 2 is 64. 64 is a perfect cube, so cube root of 64 is 4 times the 5, we get a final answer of 20. And then when there's no coefficient in the numerator and you have one in the denominator, I would suggest you put the 1 because 1 divided by 2 is 1 half or 0.5. Cube root, uh, 32 divided by 1 is 32. X to the 4 minus 1 cubed. So I'm going to take 1 half perfect cube, so I'm going to pull the x out front. Largest perfect cube factor of 32 is 8. It's 8 times 4. Cube root of 8 is 2 times 1 half x. Half of 2 is 1, or 1 x. And then cube root of 4. So x cube root of 4 is my answer.